Something messed up. Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome back to my pub. As you can see, I'm not starting on the menu screen today and that is because I basically hit record and started doing my thing and um, for some reason it immediately stopped recording after I pressed the record button and I definitely have space on my drive so I don't, I don't really know what happened there. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that going forward, all of the episodes are gonna be a week long in game with the exception of this week. What I'm gonna do is we're currently on Tuesday. We're about to go into Wednesday, we did miss Tuesday but all I literally did was open for the day and make some money so nothing significant really happened. But I think a week in game will flow very nicely but what I'm gonna do for this particular episode is just run till the Sunday so then Monday in game onwards which will be next week it will run one week at a time. I hope that makes sense but anyway let's get on with the video. Now what I was saying is that I wanted today to just be a pure prep day so if I show you the calendar we do have an important guest coming on Saturday so but before we do that I do also want to maybe expand and get some more materials and such so that's what we're gonna do today. Now does this gin need aging? I don't really know how gin works. I don't think it does right because you can just make it at home and it doesn't really age as such but we'll try and put it in there anyway. No you can't okay that's good to know. And what I was also saying is that I'm probably not going to be doing that many orders. I'm gonna send these guys home today because we're not even gonna open. Oh goodness okay um we need to make loads of food and stuff so yeah today's gonna be just an overall prep day. It's also a Wednesday so hopefully it means that we can go and see what we should have been seeing all those weeks ago in the like campfire area because I'm pretty sure a lot of people said it was like week three and four onwards and we are in month two now so we should be good to go there. Grab all of our fruit. It's always nice to see a load of crops ready. And then I'm pretty much just going to get a load of wooden nails ready because I would like to expand again. I feel like I want to have room for more decorations and I don't exactly know how it works with the zoning and stuff because obviously I've crammed in as many tables as I can but like we'll do a little bit of an experiment to see if the comfort level of the kind of like surrounding but not quite dining zone is going to make a difference. Like if it's in the same room you know. I think I also need some more firewood too so let's go have a look in here. There's that going and then if I check the building section here we've got like some of each. Oh, I've still got 50 planks and 50 nails on me or is it 60 planks? Either way we still had a lot of materials on us although it can't hurt to make more. So before we do anything let's get some fuel in here. And then we got our tables busy. Oh and I couldn't remember if you could get better tools. I mean I've unlocked everything now. No I know that you can. That's fine. The only reason I say that is because obviously um it says that these are like copper tools so that suggested to me that I might have been able to get iron ones but you can't and that's okay. And actually maybe today's the day that I go and mine everything from the little bit above. And by everything I just mean like make sure I picked up all the coal because usually I kind of do this in a rush so it'll be nice to not have to do that. Like I'm not really all that fast about doing the copper and the iron and stuff. Wait, what's over here? What's this bridge? Does this do anything? Maybe this is gonna go somewhere one day, but not today. I'm also really excited because apparently the next update is coming out this month, so we're gonna be able to check that out soon. Is this iron or coal? Okay, perfect, it's coal. I do not need any more iron. Can I talk to you yet? No? What's up with that guy? I really wish I could help him. <laughs> Okay, now do we think this might be enough to do some expansion with? Because, uh, actually no, we'll wait for this batch first. We'll wait for this batch. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. I don't really know if I should be scything this or not. I guess there's no harm in doing it, although I kind of like the look of long grass. I'll just hang around here until these are done. Actually, whilst we're at it, I'm gonna shovel my iron ore in here because I don't really need to take it all with me. There's all of our planks. And we're literally, I think, just waiting on the nails now. And done. All right, let's get building. So I really wish I could zoom out a little but that's okay I've got 47 floor tiles that I can add and I think I want to start adding them to this side because it is a little bit wider like I don't think I can expand in this direction at all that's really annoying but that's okay um how far out should we go how much is this gonna cost I mean we've got everything we need to do it so maybe we do just go ahead and make it enormous actually I need to keep some behind because I need to keep some for rented rooms in the future so maybe we just go with something like this and then we have space for 10 more dining zone so I can only make it this big but I'm wondering if what I can do is just kind of add a load of decorations here. Maybe even take off this lot here. Can I not remove- oh no wait hang on it's here. I want to remove all of those and I think I'm going to add some on this side as well because then we've got a bit more room for decoration here. So if we go back to the zone section I'm going to remove this and we're going to add four over here like that and then this little section can be decoration. We'll test it out. So this is going to cost me a hundred gold. It's going to be a lot of money. I think it'll be worth it. So I want to confirm the changes. Let's go ahead and do that and then I should probably go ahead and start buying some some furniture for the area because otherwise it's gonna look a bit empty. 
So we'll definitely go along with a couple more of the carpets. Where are the other ones? We'll just do blue and red. Let's do a little banner and then maybe we just have like one decorative table. Actually, I know what we're gonna do. So I've got a large table and then I'm gonna buy six stools to go with it. And then it's literally just gonna be a decorative table. So I bought six coasters for it. It's gonna be like that VIP table that like no one ever gets to sit at. <laughs> oh, we can get some plants as well. Uh, I'm not gonna get a lily because we have a cat in the tavern and that would be a bad idea. I feel like the cactus is don't fit the vibe so I'm not gonna get those. Let's get a couple of shiny candle holders and then we also want some shelves as well. We'll do maybe a couple of big shelves. If I don't use them I can always just shove them in a chest. I still have some money left. Oh it didn't cost me 100 gold it cost me like 30 gold. 100 gold is what I had left that's my bad. And we'll do a couple of candelabras as well and then did I buy the other thing that I wanted? No. I bought some fences too because I'm gonna like rope the whole section off. So what else do we want in this area? We need some stuff to go on the shelves. Go with a little oil lamp, maybe a pen, I do wish there was more stuff. Oh, we've got a shining chandelier. We want two of those instead. I'm going to get rid of the more basic ones. We'll go with a little window as well. Bars. The teddy bear is creepy to me. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> There's just something. There, that'll do for now. We'll see what we can do with that for decorating. And then I think it's time to go down to the bottom here. The reason I want to go kind of early is because I also want to visit Bob and make sure we can pick up any eggs from him because it's always good to get them when we can. And a day like this is perfect for that. Hello, Bob. Bob and Nugget, always great products. Low prices too, friend. <laughs> so adorable. What is this iron scrap? Oh, you melt it. Never mind. Um, I just want the eggs. So we'll grab those and then I'm going to talk again and ask about the father. Money is not most important thing, but helps Bob take care of Nugget. Bob also pays Buzz for letting live an old house. Bob is responsible, Gollum. <laughs> So you're looking for your father? Father, Violet says father loves Bob. Bob doesn't know. Chest stone hurts. Oh, we've already asked this, haven't we? I understand. Oh yes, we, we did ask this before, didn't we? Well, if I find out anything, I'll let you know. I wonder if that's a future update thing. I'm pretty sure there was meant to be a coal node somewhere around here. Trouble is I can't remember exactly where it was. Unless I'm just imagining it, I absolutely could be. Have you got anything else to say today? Violet has been visiting Bob often. Making a new friend will help her adapt to a new home. Aww. He's been unpacking for over a month <laughs> from that same one box. But I'm pretty sure this is part of what's going to be in the next update. So I'm really excited about it. So this is where I need to be later. I think it's going to be like seven onwards. So I'm going to wait for that. You know what though? I really wish there was one more like construction type zone that you could make because it's bothering me that there's three and not four. I mean, I always could have put it like in a row, but I like things square. I don't know what it is. Or at least square-ish. All right, I'm going to run back down there again. I was just up there to chop down another tree. It's always good to have some wood on hand, especially for like firewood for the fireplace. And I guess I just wait here until seven. All right, night noises are now present. Let's go have a look. <gasps> There's people here. Or person, who are you? Crowley, hello? Are you sad? You have a lot of things in cages. I'm kind of scared. Excuse me. You don't happen to work for the city guard, do you? No? Are you sure? Yes. You scared me, mate. <laughs> you shouldn't go around pretending to be a guard. I'm literally someone who looks like they work in a tavern. Do you know the kind of trouble you get into? I look nothing like a guard. What is all this? It's just my humble camp. The journey to Bar Bars? Is that right? The journey to Bar Bar has in is long and the road is full of very suspicious people. Camping for a couple of days in the thick of the forest is the best way to regain strength. I meant those cages. Hehe, <laughs> you have a good eye, my friend. I mean, there's loads of them. What do you mean? They're not like hard to see. There are all kinds of strange and exotic creatures waiting for their new owners. <gasps> are these pets? Normally they're calm, but the trip usually makes them a little nervous. So are those animals for sale? Not at all. My job is to find a home for these little helpless creatures. Receiving however a fair monetary compensation allows me to finance my altruistic cause i understand i knew you'd understand you look smart you know what i like you why don't you take a look and let me know if you see something you like do you have problems with the lot should i ask that but i'll check out his shop first in case i uh, annoy him <gasps> Parrots? Oh my god. Okay, well, do we want the bird cage? A spacious place for the birds. I definitely want a big one. We're gonna give quite a few bird crackers, I think. And then we're gonna get the nice perch. The medieval one is cute, but the imperial one is really cool. And then we'll just get one egg, I think. One parrot probably be enough. And yeah, many, many trees. Oh my god. So this is what you guys were talking about. Maybe we buy a stack. Okay, I've got them all. Now before I leave this area, I do want to mine and get this coal because I forgot that there was a node up here. And let's talk to him again again because I kind of want to ask about having problem with the law. Oh, bird training. If you already purchased one of my amazing bird perches, all you have to do is place your bird on it. Birds may be a bit mischievous at first, but don't despair. You can train them by giving them one of my cookies every time they behave. Wow. So it's literally like positive reinforcement training. That's really cool. I don't know what it means by behave or not, so we'll see. My new improved recipe provides all the nutrients for your bird to grow big and strong. Don't accept cheap imitations. I didn't even know there were. 
The best trainers say that when a bird fully accepts its owner, it shows respect. If it ever happens, don't hesitate to let me know. If this conversation never happened. Let's ask about the hatching as well. I don't know what doubts you may have, it's extremely simple. All you have to do is carry the egg around with you until it hatches. <gasps> Bit like Pokemon. I wonder how long it takes. If you find strange eggs, wait, you can find them later? Ooh. Okay, that's exciting. Is that part of the game yet? Or um, is that something to come? Is he just kind of hinting to something at the moment? Because I've not seen any other strange eggs around unless I've just like not gotten to the right place with them. I don't know, but that's so exciting. We're gonna get some sleep first though, because it is getting late. And let's not forget to pick up all of our stuff from the delivery box. We'll do our decorating in the morning. All right, let's make our bed. And I don't know if I should open today or not. All right, before we even do any decorating, because that does pass time, let's go and have a look at what we need to add to the book. So all our roast meat, that's fine almost all the jam's gone maybe we make like one more batch of jam we'll do some porridge perhaps we'll see what else we can do so we'll start with some pickles we will go ahead and do the porridge i think i need to order some vinegar as well i think i saw that that had run out and what else are we in need of sausages let's do sausages uh pork sausage with onion and maybe we'll add some mint not sure how good that'll be but it'll do and i'm gonna order some seeds too because we are low on some of our crops here so looking through the list we need some more chilies and yeah like i said I really wish you could see the amount of the actual vegetable you have or fruit. There were some other things I was low on, but I already can't remember. There are some things I know I don't need, so I won't get them, but there's some things that we could do with a few of. So we'll just start with that for now and then we'll get decorating. So what did I want to do here? Um, I think what I can do is if I move up, should I move up that table? Like, is that going to be a problem? They're not going to be able to sit there, are they? I need to get one more tile for this side to actually work. I'm going to move up everything from here because I feel like some space might be a good idea. And then over here let's have a look so remove some of our stuff from our hot bar get the things that matter most down first and then we can decorate around it so i'm thinking like a vip table like this it's going to be fenced off but i need to make sure i leave myself space at the end can i not put that here wait can i not fence stuff off inside oh i was hoping to have like a like fenced off area i think you know what i meant that's so annoying okay never mind we'll just leave that as is then and then we want a window oh the window takes up so much space that's fine i think i should still be able to fit the shelf so if I go with one, oh, maybe I should go with small shelves. Unless we just do one big shelf. Now, where can I, before I do anything, I need to see what my stats are. So can I see, I'm pretty sure I used to be able to see my comfort level in here. Or is it in like my overall stats? So that's all those stats. Where did I see the comfort before? I can't actually remember. Um, what about the book? Did that tell me? I don't remember. I saw it somewhere. That's going to really bug me. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> Wait, so if I walk out of the zone, uh, okay. So it is part of the zone. Good to know. Well... <laughs> That's minor annoying. All right, as much of that shelf as can fit in here as possible. Can I fit this over here? I'm thinking we bring those in a little. We can move those up a little. Because what I'm going to do is go painting, shelf painting. I mean, hey, we can have it decorated for our purposes at the end of the day. Oh my God, this band is enormous. There is no way I'm cramming that in. And I think the parrot does actually have to be in the actual tavern area. So maybe we stick you like here. And I wanted to get these two candle holders on here because the fancy table wants more. And then, oh no, I just opened it. I didn't mean to quickly close. Let's have this rug down here. Oh, and I didn't know you could change the style of the bird cage. <gasps> Ooh, a copper version. I kind of like the gray one though. Get all of our coasters down. I'm kind of guesstimating where they'd be because I feel like the seats are like a little bit lower than where they would sit. Something like that. That looks right to me. And those are pretty straight as well. I'm impressed with myself for that. <laughs> we go with a couple of plants down here and then can I cram a plant in anywhere in here? I mean, we could fit one next to the door, but I don't know if that's like worth it. Maybe for now, I'll stick one back there. Could even fit in another rug down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we have another vase to go on the other side of this fireplace too. That's kind of perfect. Actually, that's a little bit offline, isn't it? I think that's a bit better it's so hard to judge and for this mug ooh, there are different styles oh okay i think i'm gonna put that on one of these tables you know i'm wondering if that could look good or is it too much maybe on one of these smaller tables like that i think that looks good are there any other decorations not that i can really fit in here i guess so no i'm gonna put this in my hot bar as well as the crackers and then i think now i'm ready to get open but yeah i just wanted to like maybe i need to get the q spacer thing to go along this side here because i wanted to have like a little cordoned off section maybe what i should have done is changed the uh flooring just to like separate it off a bit maybe we'll do that in the next game day just trying to make sure i get any candles down that need to go down because there are kind of quite a lot missing how do i use this egg i guess i just walk around with it for a while that'd be my guess and i better get all this food in the book we've got our first rented room of the day hello let's get some good money for this one yes over a gold not that the money matters it's just like fun trying to get them what do you mean path is blocked oh i think the candles ran out i'm pretty sure that is what has caused this 
to happen. So I'm just gonna quickly shove some in there because usually the woman refills the candles, but um, I think, oh no, oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'll, I'll go down in a sec, I'm busy, I'm busy. That's a lot of candles. Um, we'll put another one in here. I think that's gonna be enough. Right, let's kick you out first. Calm down, calm down, calm down. No leave. Everyone's gonna be so mad. This person's probably gonna not offer me very much now. I wonder if them waiting like affects the price. Let's see if there's any issue with the room now. Damn it. Burning on the second one is never good. I swear, you better go. Go to your room. No, I haven't done anything new. The, what? Okay, trying again, trying again. Right, this definitely has candles. This definitely has enough candles. This definitely has enough candles. This does too, and so does that. So there, there shouldn't really be any issues, but um, we'll just do the other rooms first and then see what happens. Good grief, what a pain. All right, so if I go in here and then I pick rented room four, hopefully we won't have any issue. Is it because there was a person in the way? I don't know. Terrible rate, but that's fine. Please, please go up. Why? Why is this happening? Wait, is this path is blocked, but they're all- What? All right, we're trying the last room. I'm so confused. That one's blocked. Huh? Oh my God, 120. Wait, what? What's happening to my rep? Something is going on today. This is so weird. Oh no. <sighs> All right, let's try this one. I'm literally just gonna do them all until hopefully one of them works. Right, number three, you, should, you must work. I need to see what the issue- Oh, I forgot to check actually. These? No? What's going on? These worked yesterday. I've put new candles in all of them. They're clean. All right, next person that comes in, I need to remember not to hit haggle, but to go and actually check. What if I, surely putting that on, please tell me this is not what's causing it because that's the only thing that's like different that should be like quote unquote in the path. I, it's just... All right, well, we'll see what happens. I'm curious to know if I can move the brooms. No, I can't do it whilst the tavern's open. I wanted to know if I could put them in the area that's not actually being sat in. Now my wrap gain has actually dropped quite a lot. So I'm wondering, oh, okay. I need to, I need to get more stuff. Go oh, I forgot to put any of this in here. What? <laughs> that explains a lot. All right. I need to get more drinks going as well, I think. So we'll go and get a couple more kegs out of the uh, thing here. And I think mild ale was coming up, so I should probably brew some of that. I've also got an order for it. What, what's in the order? Strawberry mild ale. Maybe we'll get some of these out there. That'll do. I know I'm definitely out of rose wine as well, so I do need to get some of that going. Maybe we'll also do some quiche because I don't have any of that. Get that on its way. Any other food I've run out of? Barley bread, let's do some barley bread. I'm gonna start doing blue cheese and stuff ready for the next set of trends. Unless that's already now, I don't think it is. Hang on, pretty sure it's tomorrow. Oh no, there are new trends, that's why we're getting less. Whoops, okay, I'll go check. That explains a lot. <laughs> so what are our current trends? We've got the mild ale, we've got rose wine, that is another thing I'm missing. Cups of, cups of tea are trendy, which eh. Also white wine, we're almost out of that too. Leaks again, okay. We'll get all of our wine going. What do we want for the white wine? We could put apple in it as well, but I'm not going to because I'm worried about using those for cider as well. And I've already forgotten a bit more about what else was trendy. I'll probably do some more sausages and we'll get some more porridge going as well. So sausages, let's do chicken. I have got loads of leeks. So I need to put them away, I think. We'll do some herbs. Oh gosh, how is it 7 p.m. already? And I'm trying to remember in my head that I need to order some more vinegar and some more, what was it? Vinegar and potato seeds. Those are more things that I'm short on. And I'm gonna wait for for 8 p.m. though because I just want to make sure I've got the fire on again before it's uh, time. Figured out maybe waiting by the fireplace just as it turns 8 p.m. is my best bet there. So I'm waiting and time. See I didn't even get the um, debuff at that point so hopefully we shouldn't have affected the rep too much if at all. So we're chucking in this mild ale. I didn't really need to do it but I have. Who's mad now? Oh, I forgot to order anything. Can you calm down, please? Thank you. So we want some potato seeds. Oh, we've got potatoes in. Okay, I'm just gonna buy the potatoes straight up. And then it was white vinegar because I'm completely out of that stuff and we need it to make cheese. I do also need to plant all these seeds as well. So we'll get that done real quick. Is that all of my seeds? I think it is. Yes, it is. I wonder how long I have to walk around with this egg. Um, any of these kind of empty, the lager. I'm gonna switch out the lager for the mild ale here because I don't have any mild ale at all and that is trendy right now. I'll almost definitely have to get another batch going. What am I missing now? Okay, we've got loads of wort missing. And I just realized I've never done a citrus thing before, so I'll do that too. All right, now let's get those last orders called. I was hoping to hit level 15 today, but that's okay. I'll hit it tomorrow. Oh, and I completely forgot to put the extra firewood in here. There we go, I shouldn't run out for a little while now. Oh, we might still hit, mm, should we? No, we're not gonna hit it. We're just gonna be like touching it which is really annoying oh well first thing tomorrow <laughs> all right let's send you all home and then i'm literally just gonna head straight to bed tonight the egg looks a little bit cracked today so i wonder if it's to do with how many days that's cute all right whilst we're waiting for our staff let's get the candles out on the tables because it does add to our does it add to our comfort i think it was meant to but it isn't 
Unless there's like a limit to how much comfort it adds depending on how many candles you have, I don't know. What's really annoying is that I didn't get any um, rep obviously from any of these rooms because apparently something was blocked and I disagree. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because I'm not in- thought I was in a uh, decoration mode, I wasn't. I was in tavern vision. I don't see that anything is blocked here. I'm a little bit confused because these rooms are basically the same as they have been. I've literally not changed anything. So we'll see what happens. Let's just get open. We'll check on our crops as well while we're waiting because I'm hoping we've got some more fruit done. Okay, maybe not. Not quite. Soon though. Right, for this batch of wine i'm not even gonna age it because we are pretty much out of wine and i don't want to miss out on the um rep gain from it so we just won't do that but at least i can switch out one of these kegs actually i can age the other keg we'll do that is there anything else in here i can age you you actually we'll do another batch of wine as well got a little bit of each of the wines going we might as well do another batch of porridge while we're at it where is it uh maybe being dumb or maybe we also do the savory pie. Right, we'll do the porridge first because we know that's trendy. So it was a meat savory pie and a cheesy stew. So we'll go with the blue cheese. And look at that rep. We're getting 223 now. So that was definitely what I was doing wrong. <laughs> I was slacking on the variety a little. Oh, there we go. There's our level 15. So we've got 15 extra tiles, five extra dining tiles, five extra crafting tiles, and an extra room. So we're definitely going to put that together maybe tomorrow in game, I think. What am I doing? I'm handing in orders. And once again, I'm just accepting these just because actually the wine should be easy enough to do because I am making some and it only needs one bottle. I'm a huge fan of that instead of needing like loads of the stuff. Wine is by far the most effective order item. It gives you one of the most XP and you literally only need one out of the, I think it's 20 bottles that you make. So certainly the most cost effective. I might as well do a cheese board as well. Let's go ahead and do blue cheese, cheddar, and we'll do some grapes. I feel like that's a very normal cheese board thing. Okay, so today is also Friday, so I do need to make sure I'm in bed before midnight. We have an important guest tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get as much rep as possible from them. I noticed that nobody's asked for a rented room, so what I'll do as well is when I build the rooms, I'm gonna go check like what's missing or what the issue is. I wonder if I just try picking up and putting everything down maybe even? I don't know. At least I can just build one room and have it maybe be ready, I don't know. I just don't understand what's wrong. All right, I've added the cheese boards. Looking pretty decent on everything else. Maybe some more kebabs we could get and some fish. Let's go get that done. And then we also had an order for orange chicken, which I can do and then I can also add the leek. What else was it? Honey pale ale. Uh, I'll have to wait for the fermenting things to become free, but that's all right. And I need to get this blue cheese aging ASAP. In fact, I'm actually gonna split them between the two racks because I might as well speed it up a little situation. We do only get two like things of cheese a day. Wheels? I guess it's a wheel for the blue cheese, right? I don't know. Portions? Whatever. <laughs> You know what I mean? Look at all that rep. I was so excited before when I was getting like 200 from having an important guest, but now we just get it anyway. And no one's asked for a rented room still, so there's definitely something wrong. I might even just have to restart my game and see if that does anything. Oh, who is mean? You. Please leave. You don't need to be here. And I think a top up on drinks is in order. What else can we actually have here? Um, I haven't done any brandy. Why not? And there's all of our wine as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand in the order and then we'll probably get Get most of it aging. There we go. Let's have a look what's going on in the book first before I do that. So I've put 10 of the bottles in here just so that there are some and then the rest we can actually wait to age. Although saying that, I don't know if there's actually space. I think I've got too many things going on in here. That one's got something in it. Yeah, I've, I've already got all of these occupied. So I guess I'll just put all the red wine as not being aged and calm you down in the process. Actually, whilst we're waiting for more of the day to happen, I need to order more stuff for the rented rooms. So go ahead and grab a bed obviously the individual tables i'm gonna order a few closets maybe they should all have one of those no why does it do this it's so annoying you know when it comes out of the uh menu whilst you're literally in the middle of doing something with it let's have a giant window for this one now did i reorder that big window or not i don't yeah i did okay we're just gonna order those for now as long as we've got enough time to set up the new room i'll be happy now let's have a look at what kind of these kegs i can use so i think i ran out of mead maybe we'll do some wheat lager as well because why not and i'm literally just gonna wait as soon as the order's delivered basically there we go there's those almost out of rye bread so let's resolve that and why not make a fondue while we're at it now the brandy i'm gonna assume that we have to age yeah this is aged price so i'm gonna have to wait for that let's remove this rude customer or at least try to calm them down nope they're out of here so i noticed as well just looking at the stats there is also a little bit missing from my satisfaction here and i wonder what i can do to increase that i mean i've done my best to keep everything clean i've decorated a fair amount hopefully my bartender said serving fast enough? Is it because I'm not kicking people out quick enough? I mean, we do have a bonus 11 occupancy, so that's really good. Just got to keep working on it, I suppose. I am tempted to get rid of a couple of these tables.
pause in favor of actually adding more decorations because I think we could do with doing that. Maybe that's what we do next. Oh, order delivered. Okay, let's call last orders. And whilst we're at it, we can help serve you guys because this guy's kind of slow sometimes. Off they all go. Let's add our extra food to the book. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, it's so nice hearing it get all quiet again once you start closing. All right, you guys can go home now. Thank you for your service today. And then let's go ahead and grab all of these. We'll build our new room and then we'll go ahead and uh, replace all the furniture. So it seemed that none of them were okay. So actually, let's not add one this way. I wonder if we can add one down in this direction. Actually, not this side. Let me erase this. Like, I wonder if I can put one like here. It is not possible to build in this position. Why not? Is that all right? I think that's all right. Is that the same size? I think I'd like to think that's the same size. Let's add a rented room door like so. So hopefully this counts as a rented room. Although saying that, can I move this? Doors. I want to erase this one and put it. Oh no, it does have to go there. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So let's see now. Does it show that I have that? I don't know, but I'll go upstairs and see. I don't know if it has to face that direction or not. We can always test it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because it's facing the wrong direction. Okay, we'll go back outside. <laughs> oh no, is that going to cost us like money and materials? Because we've, hmm. I hope we get them back. I can't remember if we do or not. So we're going to erase literally all of this and that and I guess we just add another one maybe we'll do another one in this direction so it's kind of even you do not have enough nails oh come on luckily I have loads of iron so maybe we just wait around for those I have uh planks wise I should be all right I guess it wouldn't hurt to get some more though right you know just while we're waiting and perhaps while I'm waiting for those I can start redoing the furniture in those rooms maybe if I just move it around just a little bit you know so going into decoration mode what if I literally just switched the beds and the tables whoops I didn't to pick that up. I actually meant to rotate it but I'm confusing which game I'm playing. So maybe we have it as less of a bedside table and more of a just a table in the corner table. And then what about if I put you here? Like maybe that might be better. And then I did also want to add a closet in all of them but I don't know if I've got the room to add in every single one. I'm gonna move the cactus. Oh I can't put it there. That's so annoying. Okay I'll put the cactus there. Why does the closet have to face that way? How annoying. Um this room kind of has to stay as is really other than like maybe switching them around. This one I can basically do what I did with the other section that very first room and stick everything like this maybe even the table down here like so give everything a little bit of a rearrange and see if that does anything for us and then hopefully I've got enough time at least to build the new room even if I don't actually decorate it this day there's all me nails there's all me planks and let's try that again so we want to do a bit of that you don't have enough nails again really okay well I can what am I I'm missing literally like a couple of nails all right well I can add to it in the morning I know because will I not have enough nails now for the door no Wait, can I? You don't have enough nails, damn it. All right, well, we'll confirm these changes. We'll make some more nails. And then I can at least wait for like one or two of the batches. I should still be able to get to bed on time. So hopefully another 20 nails will do it. Please, please let me build the door. You don't have enough mortar. You need mortar for a door? This is a train wreck. All right, well, we're getting somewhere at least. How long does that take? Not that long, okay. And I think it said I'd run out of water. So I can go get some water for the mortar. No empty bucket. Oh, it wasn't that That Wait, what am I missing? I was missing something. All right, let's try again. Maybe this will be enough, please. I'm begging. Oh, thank God. Okay, right. <laughs> Confirm those changes and go to bed because, oh my goodness, I am done with this day. I think what I'll also do is I will go ahead and reboot my game in case it was a bug and I've just loaded back in. So hopefully we should be all right. So wait, what? There are people here? I'm waiting to make sure this is Saturday in a minute. Something weird's going on. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Where did these people come from? Have they just stayed for free? <laughs> Hello? Okay, well, whatever. There's not really much we can do about that, but <laughs> what? Okay. That just happened. So uh, let's go ahead and get this room together. That is a very large window. Something definitely bugged. <laughs> How strange. Good grief. I mean, hey, what can we do about it, you know? Should I put a really low down candle here? Yeah, why not? Why not have the extra candle holder? And this room doesn't even have a rug in it. What am I doing? slacking. We'll put it sideways in this one too. Now I think that's most of my decoration sorted so hopefully we'll be all right. Good lord. I'm having a time. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've experienced these bugs too. I think I guess we just get open and wait for that important guest to come. They are coming today aren't they? I feel like I just need to triple check. Yes they are. And how's our parrot egg doing? Oh my god it is so close to hatching. I feel like anyway. Oh someone wants a room today. Oh my god is it gonna work? How are we doing with comfort as well? Let's have a look. We're all pretty good. I suppose having bigger rooms means that there's more space for more decorations. So maybe at some point we expand the rooms a little. Hey, they're going off as well. Oh my God, it's worked. Well, I feel better about the fact that that was almost definitely a bug now. And I don't think I did anything wrong. <laughs> I do need to get some more kebabs and jam going on, so go ahead and do that. Do I have any leek? There we go. And fill my jam, orange, mango, and peach. 
I think I've done that before, you know. Second rented room of the day. Hopefully everything's gonna be okay. It always makes me nervous now. That's like obviously being the second episode that happened. Damn, I could have missed out on a really good rate. I mean, 85 still decent. Now I think actually what I need for indoors for that fence situation was the queue spacer. So I'm gonna try and buy some of those. <gasps> We've got loads of stuff ready too. Grabbing all of that. Give me all the fruit and vegetables. Hello, ma'am. Let's get you to your room. Oh my God, 35. I need you to pay a bit more than that. <laughs> Just a little bit more, you know. Damn it. 46, so terrible. Enjoy your stay, I guess. Do a bit of cleaning while I'm at it just in case that our important guest comes in. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, we've got another room. Good morning. We want 44. Not amazing, not terrible. Ah, I forgot to haggle. <gasps> Once per episode at least, I swear. Hi, remember to haggle. Come on, we can do this. Oh, that was so close to missing. Yes, we got it. 59. That is okay. Ooh, and I can go and grab stuff from the cellar today too. Oh, damn it. Every time I want to go into the cellar, someone wants to rent a room. All right, maybe we just wait until we've done all the rooms before we like go anywhere. But I think that's actually our last one. So we should be all right. Starting off at an all right price. Haha, -ha, 91. I think I'm getting good at this, you know, or better at least. Not good, just better. Now I do wish like other things, the aging barrels had some sort of indication of things being ready because at the moment it doesn't <gasps> oh no here we go to kick out now you all right we're all good everything's fine I'm gonna collect me food i don't think any of this was needed for an order so i'll just go and shove it straight in the book speaking of orders something just got delivered and i can't remember what it was that i ordered at the very least i needed to get the mild ale in here because that is trendy right now oh and that does mean that there's a barrel free for me to put the brandy in just gonna do a quick check of the tables before i do that though being a little bit more vigilant today i still haven't seen the important guest that I can tell by the rep we haven't got one yet oh he must be here 453 oh my god so much rep where are they where are they who is it I don't see any stars hello oh you're at it's why you've come in before so maybe it's a good sign because this person's come back in again hello welcome to the tavern which table are you sitting at let me make sure it's just like extremely clean okay we're all good everything is fine I need to stop stressing about them <laughs> What was I here for again? Oh yeah, I really wanted to go and age that brandy. I forgot, completely forgot. And maybe we'll make some vodka too today. Did I only pick up one bottle? Oh my God, what am I doing? Right, first. Ooh, we haven't done the fruit liquor yet. Let's actually bring the entire thing. Any of these not aged? This cider, that can go in there. Maybe the black ale too. We'll just age as many things as we can because it does give us more money. So we'll shove that in there, the rest of them in there, and that in there. Oh, nope. These are the ones with the wine in them, aren't they? Are you free? Yes, you are. I feel like with the amount of people in here, I do have to check the book really frequently. Because you do tend to run out of stuff really quick like I've only just made the chicken and now we need more chicken and obviously we'll use this to guide us as to what else we're missing I suppose we could make a batch of soup or roast beef all right why not I mean leek and potato soup is a good one and our fruit liquor's ready so do I need to age this no I don't I can just go shove it straight in the book so we'll go ahead and do that along with all of our food there we go we're looking almost nice and full again that is what I like to see I mean with the space that we have even if I don't remove the table I mean we can have another five dining tiles so I could have just added that extra tile there I'll wait until we're closed and then at least I can and make some adjustments oh my god that guy got 485 this woman just came out with four oh my god this person also 485 we're getting so much rep i'm so happy but let's keep on top of trying to add more of the variety and checking on the food again i feel like i have to like constantly check on the food oh and there's the pale ale so oh it's aged though Screw it, we'll use it anyway let's also do some apple pie because i feel like that fits in obviously with the trends i'm also gonna add some peach because i feel like they'd be nice together almost time to go stare at the clock until we need to light the fire gotta avoid that rep loss from it being suddenly really cold oh someone's annoyed who is it the drinks are not watered down how dare you accuse me of that get out of here and another person how dare you all right it's almost time let's not let it get cold i'm waiting for the exact moment 55 there we go 8 p.m no cold again we're kind of on top of this now your important guest is gone we can chill a little bit in fact i will go ahead and call last order soon i feel like i'm gonna forget to decorate if i don't but what i really like about having the important guest is obviously especially when you're in the later levels like now the kind of like rep level ramp is a lot so those double xp days are really really important or double rep days i should say so i think once it hits about 10 is when i will go ahead and close up for the day actually no we'll decorate in the morning there's no need to like rush it tonight because that's how i forget stuff i mean i forget stuff anyway but i think you know what i mean all right call in last orders because i'm literally like half an hour late <gasps> Some people are leaving with over 300 rep. What just happened? What did, what did I just do? I don't know. I don't know why that I just happened. Oh, well. I mean, I'll take it. <gasps> the bird. Well, what, what do we name you? Oh, you're orange. Um, I'm going to name you mango because mangoes can be orange and they're like my favorite fruit. So at the moment, this is their like training level. I don't exactly know the effect that they have. So we'll see what happens. Can you, can I place you on? Are you sure you want to? No, I don't want to release the bird. It says to place it. I said, wait, I said, no. Where's my bird? Hello? I don't want to release it. Ugh. All of that hatching for literally... What, did I misclick? I feel like I misclicked. Oh no. What just happened? Okay, I'm going to have to get another one next week. Oh my 
god, I can't believe that. That is the most me thing to ever happen. Well, not ever. I mean, kind of ever. Ah, oh, gutted. Be free, Mango. I hope you have a good life without me. Oh my god. I'm having a day. <laughs> well, let's get decorating, I guess. So, okay, we're gonna go out to the construction area first. So we're gonna go out to the construction zone first and just um, add our tiles here. So if I go to the zone section, we wanna add, we've got five more tiles, but there's not really enough room. So I think we'll just go with the one line here and then I'll leave these until I can actually fill up this entire line. Cause I feel like it looks awkward otherwise, unless I suppose I could use it for decoration. Like I have been, maybe we just go ahead and do that. I mean, it's only one tile off, how annoying. That's fine, we'll accept it. I do appreciate the fact that when you move the tables all the decorations kind of stay where they are oh the queue spaces i forgot about those and then i suppose i might as well order stuff whilst i'm out here oh decorative barrel how did i not see this before apparently i've got four of them but i don't know where oh well i might as well grab a few more rugs and by rugs i mean the carpets if we're going to be particularly picky maybe i add a window too but the big ones are kind of a lot maybe we add a small window do we add a banner how much are the banners going to add comfort 15 and right banner are they all 15 yeah they are i've got a rose banner so i'll just use that and then decor wise all right i've forgotten what i was doing i literally got up to do something did i i think i did order those decorations didn't i um i'm just gonna say that i did i'm gonna move these in a little because i want to put this q spacer thing yeah that that works okay perfect oh i didn't need that many all right we'll fix it so what if i oh, i need to take some out and remove them so if we do it every two and then remove those wait am i stuck here now oh my god trust me there we go and then actually i need to move this because you can't actually fit in here with the queue spaces so if i do this i'm just trying to make it make sense as if it was functional so like this I think. And then I'll rearrange the rug shortly. I think I did a pretty good job of lining up those coasters though, not gonna lie. I mean, look at them. Like I did it from a completely different perspective and I did it pretty well, if I say so myself. So rug wise, we're gonna go here. Unless maybe we want one of these rugs in this particular situation. It still sticks out a lot though, doesn't it? No, that's not what we want. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be the shaggy carpet. It kind of sticks out a bit, but that's okay. So decorations wise, do we have anything outside yet? Like how long does this order take to arrive? I'm so impatient when it comes to these. I suppose I can tend to my crops in the meantime. We do have quite a lot of them to pick up and then I should probably put it away and then check on the rented rooms too. So all of that's going in here. Not the crack. Oh, I suppose the crackers couldn't. I'm gonna leave them in a chest for now since I lost my parrot. I still can't believe that happened. And then whilst I'm over here I might as well put in what I already have. So we're going with this banner here. I was gonna put the shelf up but I think it'll be pointless. Oh yeah it's a big shelf. Absolutely pointless. But hey that still improved our comfort by like a fair amount. So now I also wanted to perhaps we space the table out a little oh no actually we don't need to because we can decorate down this side here it's just wild to me that it does say that the candles do add comfort but it doesn't seem to be doing that anymore so i'm wondering if there's like a limit or if there are ones that just go directly down no maybe not all right now are you delivered yet no you're not i'm determined to wait for it <laughs> i'm being very stubborn about this i suppose what i could do is put down some of this furniture in my own room not that it makes a difference really to anything but you know i might as well it just adds a bit of something now at this point i literally just want to stare at the order box until it all arrives I'm so nervous about if I even ordered it though. Uh, I did order it right because I did say like I didn't want the banner. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna give it till like two o'clock in game and if my order doesn't arrive by then, I'm gonna have to open. It's gonna be funny if I literally open and then they uh, all turn up. Is it because I'm staring at the box? Surely not, that that can't make a difference, right? <laughs> oh yes, that's right. I didn't actually go up and check any of the rooms, did I? So let's go ahead and place these. I'm gonna add an extra one in here because I feel like it's gonna run out. That room I think is fine. What about this one? That one's all right. This one's got some, but could be better. These are almost burnt out, so we'll replace them. I think the rooms are all ready to go. My poor bar staff for just standing there like what is going on i refuse to believe i didn't order them do we have another rug that we can just slap on the ground for now i think i do have one more i think i'm gonna go put that basic blue rug in front of the stairs i think that makes sense to me why can't i open my inventory i get this sometimes that should do it now no hello what if i go out and in again okay there we go that took some time i did something to break it and i didn't want to restart because that would mean restarting the day okay that that's not gonna look any good so maybe not however it could go in this corner over here because i am about to stick some decorations on it give me my order <laughs> well, I said I was going to go to 2 p.m. in game and I've gone way further than that. So I suppose I should get open. Definitely need to check down here as well for all of our age stuff. And how much are you offering me today? 65. All right. That's a That's an all right starting price. We can work with that. Oh my God. Can we do it? Yes. Over a gold. That's always a moment to celebrate. Enjoy your stay. Uh, now, what was I doing? Right. These kegs. Okay. First of all, I put 
all the wine away and then I'll sort out the kegs. Also the brandy, our first set of brandy. Let's get you in a room, 67 starting, pretty good. Does that mean the rest of them are gonna be awful today? Who knows? Aha, ooh, 107. I think that's a record. We do have our first mean person though. You're not getting your money back. Yep, I called it. You only want 35, yikes. And I didn't exactly do well, so yeah, not good. The rep that matters is the rep that counts the most. You need to keep remembering that. There we go, almost 250 rep per person. I will take that. Oh, over 250 for that person. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. I see that you're trying to offer me not very much money. I hope I can convince you otherwise. There we go. We've almost doubled it. Enjoy your stay, sir. I'm sure you're going to love the rooms. I'm wondering as well if I also upgrade from these basic candle holders to the shiny ones. Ooh, of course, someone's just um, come in. Oh my god, I did terribly this time. <laughs> Whoops, you win. So I'm gonna check one more time in my delivery box. Nothing's here, so I don't think I actually ordered it. I must have clicked cancel, which, you know, I wouldn't put it past me. So decor items, back to decor items. So I'm gonna put the word shining in here. Oh no, I forgot to see how many tables I have. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 tables. So I need 13 shining candle holders. Actually, if I just put candle holders, then I can check the difference. Okay, so the basic ones are both two and these are four and six. So I'm gonna buy a few of these and I'm gonna buy the 13 of these that I need. Maybe I buy a few more because some of the bigger tables can hold more. I definitely need more candles too because I go through them like a wild rate. And then other decorations. Maybe we upgrade some of our incense burners and I've got one candle over in the main part of the tavern so I'm going to replace it with a shining one. I also wanted those barrels. Oh that says carrots. <laughs> We'll buy a couple of those and then perhaps we add a couple of plants too. All right, you see me press the buy button now. I know I've done it. <laughs> I've definitely placed the order this time. Good grief. Maybe I should get another wall thing to go under here as well. One of those decorative swords. I think that'll do it. Just that on its own. That'll fit nicely in that little gap. Oh, we've got one more room. You're a late one. That's our last room as well. So um, let's get to haggling. 69 is a pretty decent starting price. So how high can we take it? No, I missed. Okay, well, 90. 90 still good. <laughs> Would have been over a gold, definitely. Oh, well. So I placed that order around 6.30, I want to say. So I want to kind of time how quick they arrive. And I don't know if it's like consistent or not, but I guess I'll know for sure today. Oh, it's cold. I forgot to sit by the fireplace. No, someone got really annoyed at it as well. I'm so sorry. It also just got really dirty all at once as well. So that was convenient. Oh my God, the rep hit that I just took for that. I literally lost 30 rep for being cold for literally all of about two minutes. So fussy. Oh, another rowdy person. I really did mess up there, didn't I? I angered all the people. And I think even if the order does arrive with plenty of time tonight, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. Oh, there it is. There's the order. So it takes around two and a half hours in game. That's good to know. Now we know for sure. So I don't have to wait quite as long. Um, I am going to order one more shaggy carpet for that table there, though. And maybe a couple more for here. So three shaggy carpets. Let's do one of each. One of them, one of them, and one of them. And I'm not going to pick up the order until I uh, have literally all of them in hand, just so that I remember for next time so I will redecorate in the next episode I don't want to have to like rush through it before the day is over and I'm also just checking when our next special guest is coming and it's Tuesday so it's going to be really nice and early in the next episode too I really thought they were only going to come once a month but actually they come pretty often definitely a good thing considering our need for rep at this point now to space things out a bit I probably could get away with even moving this table up a little I don't think I need to though I think it's okay and there's the other order okay unless that was the um just the barrels it might have just been the barrels I think it, yeah it was that's fine I'll take them for now and then I'll just have to remember that I ordered the carpets. I will remember every about 20 to 30 seconds in my brain I literally just say the word carpets. Plus the fact that I'm looking at so many carpets on this floor anyway I think that goes to help. So I'm basically now just waiting on my order to arrive before I close up for the day. I'm hoping it comes soon. At the very latest I'll call last orders at 1am. All right 1am has hit still no sign of my order. Let's close up. Actually let's double check in case I just missed the notification. No it's definitely not right. Did I actually order it again? That is entirely possible. I'm going to order more because I'm sure at some point I'm going to need them anyway. <laughs> and off everyone goes. Goodbye. Have a good rest of your night, peeps. Oh my god, look at them all. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Let's not forget to send home our staff. They've worked a very long day. Go home. Can't possibly imagine turning up to a workplace and having no idea exactly what time your shift will end. Like, I feel like most places you go, you know, you'll be scheduled in for like, I don't know, even if you were a nine to five person, like sure you might leave later, but like technically your hours finish then but like coming in at like 6 a.m and just having absolutely no idea it sounds like a personal nightmare to me anyway let's get some sleep oh no two orders delivered okay well i did order the 
rugs, that's fine. We've got some extra rugs, but in the next episode, we'll make sure we get all of the new decorations down. And once again, I'm really sorry about missing an entire day in the beginning. It was just um, literally nothing but running the tavern and making some money. So you didn't really miss anything significant. Let me know in the comments if you have actually had the bug with the rented rooms like I did. That was just like the weirdest thing. And like I said, next week onwards, each episode will be a week long in game. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!